Hey, what's up guys, Jakey here. Today, I'm gonna to be going over some general tips and tricks on how to make space efficiently and properly as a jet. And I'm gonna give you guys uh, just some advice that I see a lot of, like a lot of mistakes that I see a lot of lower ELO players make and how to fix them. Okay, so I think most ELOs know that as jet, you're supposed to dash out and make space for your team when you're executing. But a mistake that I see a lot of low ELO players make is they'll just throw their smoke onto site and then they'll just dash straight forward into it like that. And then they'll just peek out of it and start looking for fights. Um, and so that's bad because your dash is a piece of utility that you're supposed to use to get information for your team, right? So when you're dashing out, you're supposed to use your dash to get information. Like Here. you're supposed to clear all of these close angles, Here. left and right. All of this is, is supposed to be cleared by your dash. And so the way to do this effectively is let's say I'm dashing to top gen. I want to be, as a mid dash, I want to whip my mouse to the left and to the right in order to clear all of these close angles. So if I'm dashing out here onto top gen, I'll dash and then I'll whip my mouse left and right, as you can see right there, to clear left and right for my team. So you probably noticed right there when I was dashing, that was really fast, right? Like I whip my mouse left and right really fast. And you might be thinking, well, I it's hard to spot people like that, right? And you're right, it is. It is very hard sometimes to spot people when you're whipping your mouse that fast and you might miss people um, but that's another mistake that I see a lot of people make is you're not actually supposed to look at your screen when you're dashing out or you're not supposed to look at your crosshair rather. So instead of actually physically trying to spot these players, you actually want to be hard focusing on your mini map. So when you're dashing out, you want to be actually staring at your mini map. And the reason for this is because no matter, even if you see somebody for half a second, they will always show up on your mini map. So if I'm dashing out and I'm looking at these these angles really fast, even if I see them for half a second, they'll still show up on my mini map. So that's a lot. That's a mistake that a lot of uh, lower elo jet players make is they don't stare at their mini map when they're dashing out. This is beneficial both for your team and you because your team can also see them on the mini map. Uh, so higher elo, in higher elo, when your jet's dashing out, a lot of people already know to look at the mini map so that they can see what their jet's clearing. Um, but in lower elos, you might have to call that out for your team. So let's say I'm dashing, you know, I'm dashing top gen here. Um, I throw my smoke down and then I dash top gen and I'm clearing these angles. They will actually show up on my mini map if I see them and I can call them out for my teammates so that they know that there's people either close right or close left. Okay, my next piece of advice is uh, a lot of people actually don't know that when you jump before you dash, you gain more distance. So I'll show you that right now. Um, if I line up here and then I dash normally, you can see. I end up right here, right? But if I pop my dash and then I jump before I dash, you can see I end up right here. So you actually go a little bit further when you jump and dash. The same thing with updrafting actually. Uh, if you just regularly updraft, you can see I'm around like right there. Maybe I didn't shoot the peak. Let me try that again. Okay, so that's around the peak. If I actually jump and updraft at the same time, you can see that I actually go a little bit higher. So if you want to go higher with your updraft as well, you want to jump before you updraft. And if you want to get more distance with your dash, you want to jump before you dash. Okay, next piece of advice is, um, let's say I'm popping through a smoke, right? A lot of jet players won't will disregard the top gen dash because they'll be smoked off a main. So let's say there's like a brim or omen smoke here. They'll just resort to this dash because, you know, they can't do the top gen smoke. And that's what pings are for. So even if you're smoked off, you can still here. ping where you want to dash. And even if you're smoked off, you can use this ping as a reference. And there you go. You can still hit the top gen dash even though you're smoked off A main. This top gen dash is strong because you can clear right side hell with it rather easily. And while you're dashing out, you can also clear all of these angles as well, like here, and even back dice, whereas with here. the front side smoke, you can't really do that as easily. And also with the top gen smoke, you also get an advantage if there's anyone playing back gen, you have the height advantage on this guy as well. Okay, next tip is don't be scared to ask your initiators for utility, right? So, um, you know, dashing out alone as a duelist is very hard, especially in higher elos. If you don't have any utility from your initiators, it's just extra difficult. So don't be scared to ask, like if you have a Sova, don't be scared to ask for them to dart Here. back gen as you're dashing out or time it so that it lands Here. as you land top gen. If you have a KO, don't be scared to ask for them to flash over. 
um, because all of those, all of that utility can help you with entrying. And so don't be scared to ask your initiators for utility. In fact, it's pretty much crucial in higher elos that your initiators help you with utility as you're entering onto the site. The second thing is, um, let's say I dash out top gen and I have a smoke down. If you're waiting for utility from your initiators, because obviously timings aren't always perfect, if you want to ask for utility from your initiators and buy a couple more seconds, you can actually do another smoke. That's why Jet has two smokes. You can use your first smoke to dash out top gen. And let's say I want to wait for my KO to flash. I can throw another smoke so that I can wait for his flash to come in and then I can peek after the flash has popped. So if you still have two smokes, that's another way to use your second smoke. Okay, another way you can use both your smokes effectively is actually using one of your smokes as a safety smoke to get out and set yourself up for the dash. Because obviously you have to be close enough to, to hit the top gen dash, but what a lot of jet players will do, in, especially in lower elos, is they will literally just walk out like this so that they can get close enough to hit this dash. And so obviously the problem with that is when you're getting, when you're like moving out like this, you're exposing yourself to pretty much every angle. So you can get peeked by this gen guy, you can get peeked by a dice guy, or if someone's playing close right, you're literally just a free kill if you're just walking up like this um, and getting ready for a dash if there's no smoke here. So what you can do is you can actually use one of your smokes to set yourself up to dash safely. So the, you can use the ping method, as I mentioned earlier, here. by pinging top gen, right? And then what you can do is use one of your smokes to set yourself up, other smoke for top gen, and now you can dash out safely. So... And the great thing with that is uh, it won't actually mess your team up because with jet smokes, obviously they don't last super long. And so by the time your team's following you out, your jet smoke's already about to fade. And so this smoke is really just to make sure that you're able to get close enough to dash out safely. So don't be scared to use one of your smokes to set yourself up um, safely in order to dash out. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to get into like super map specifics and it was just going to be general tips. Um, but I want to show you guys an example if I'm dashing out switch on B site here on Ascent how I would clear these close angles. So when you're dashing out to switch, uh, which is very common, just the most common dash for Jet on entering B is the switch dash, because you want to dash to switch and then close market door for your team. When you're dashing out, you should be able to Here. clear both the lane, Here. close left boathouse, Here. and logs with one dash, um, as I mentioned earlier. So you want to be whipping your mouse left and right. So you'll throw this, and then you'll jump before you dash, like I said earlier, just to get that extra distance. And while you're dashing, you want to be flicking your mouse to the left and to the right. And then again, you want to be hard staring at your minimap because anyone that you see lane or logs or anywhere will show up on your minimap. And so, yeah, so you just throw your smoke here, dash out, look left, look right, close the switch as you're dashing out. And that's basically the most basic way to entry uh, for your team onto the B site. Another thing you can do is if you don't want to dash switch, you can actually dash over the roof of this hut right here. So you can throw a safety smoke out like that and then pop your dash, walk into it and dash out onto the site like this. So there's a lot of different ways you can entry. But yeah, you basically just want to incorporate those things that I mentioned earlier, flicking your mouse uh, left and right to clear close angles for your team, staring at your mini map while you're doing that instead of your actual crosshair, using your smokes to make sure you're able to get out safely. So safety smokes uh, and also smoking where you want to dash. So uh, like if I'm dashing switch, I'll smoke switch for myself. And so things like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Those are some general tips and tricks to help you guys dash out more effectively and make space for your team on Jet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.